What's up guys, welcome back. Today we are going to do another video on this PW80 series. So today is going to be a engine rebuild. Um, we did a case breakdown once before, splitting the case. Go ahead and check that video out. Pretty, pretty easy to take something apart. Um, and today we're just going to put it back together. So if you remember from the first video, we had an issue with the crank um, not spinning around. So now that we've got everything apart, I'll show you what we had. So here's our crank out of that engine. And if you look here, this is just really gunked up. Has a lot of pitting, a lot of extra junk on it. And all that was getting caught on the actual case itself. So we took all that apart, cleaned it all up. Here's our case half. This looks like, what, the right half. Um, any damage that was done was actually done in the right half, left half, I should say. And you should be able to see that right there, that gorge, gouge, whatever you want to call it, right there in the half. So we smoothed that down. We had a little damage in here inside where the uh, seals are going to sit. So I smoothed all that out and we cleaned up the outside. If you tell, it's, it's a little shiny. We just used a ton of Simple Green and Scotch Bray packs. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. So we got all of our new stuff is in. I think I showed you these, maybe not, but there's a new head, new cylinder, piston, piston kit. There's the old crank, the new one's up on the table. And all of our parts lined up in the order they're gonna go and how we're gonna put them in. So we're gonna go ahead and get this started. I fired up the oven because the first thing we're going to need to do is get our bearings into the case. So we'll go inside, the oven should be at about 400 degrees and we're going to set these in them for about 20 minutes and I have the bearings in the freezer. So we'll put that in the oven and we'll get those out of the freezer when it's ready and hopefully they'll drop right into place. So let's get these in the oven. One thing before we get those in, I had uh, a new oven. We were going to get set up on this for this kind of thing and also I wanted to start doing some uh, powder coating but everywhere locally is out of uh, breakers. The only things anybody has is 15 amp and I need uh, 30 amp. So we're going to go ahead, go in the kitchen, see if we don't get in trouble this time. So let's go in there. Alright, there it is, 400 degrees. I'm just going to put them right in on the rack. Put that half. Put that half. We'll let them bake about 20 minutes. All right, we got the first one pulled out. This one's gonna be the left side. So we're gonna need the main bearing from the freezer. And we're gonna go ahead and try and drop that right into place. So the case is hot, 400 degrees, about 20 minutes or so. Bearing's been in the freezer for five, six days. And boom, slides right in. So there's the main. We'll go back here. I think I grabbed the right one. Transmission side. Ooh. Put that one in a little crooked. So we should be able to tap that one in and be all right. So let me tap that one in quick. All right, so just a few taps. We're able to get that one seated. So that there is the left side. So now we'll go ahead and pull the right side out. All right, so right side, same thing. So go ahead and put the crank bearing in. Stuck to my finger, that was about to slide right, right in, falls right in. So, got that, now we'll flip it over. And we need to toss this guy in. Oh, look at that, even slid right out. So. Maybe we need to give that one a minute to expand. So we'll give that a second, let it expand so it doesn't fall out. And then we'll flip it over. Alright, so it warmed up enough, expanded, stays in place. So, then we're going to come here, same thing, drop this guy in. I don't know if you can hear it sizzle, but there it is. That one's in. And then the last one we need to put in is this little needle bearing. Um, that one's going to go in here. That's where the uh, shift drum goes. So, we're going to go ahead and try and slide that one in. It's going to be a little tougher than the other ones. So, we'll let that cool down and we'll throw that in. All right, so this one's gonna be a little more difficult, but this one's gonna go in up here. We might have to tap that one into place or come from the other side. 
Let's try the other side first. If that doesn't work, we'll just tap that one in. It should be all right. So flip it over. And we'll set it in right there. It's going a little. All right, this one we'll take out, get a block of wood on it, and we'll tap it down into place. All right, outside, all we're gonna do is give it light taps. Oh, shoot, that's not good. <laughs> Our crank bearing fell. So, we'll have to get that back in. Hopefully that's not super hot, which it is. Whew! So, we'll get this guy back into place. And then we'll finish working on that one. So let's get this guy. back in so maybe we'll give it a little bit let that all heat up together and we'll come back with that guy because I don't want that to fall out again maybe there's something I can put maybe oh here we go we'll rest a block of wood under that while we tap that one in so let's let's get a block of wood or something to put under there oh, I'm not gonna be able to do this with filming but we got a little piece of wood under there and all we're gonna do is finish tapping that guy in place just light taps and get it seated. All right, once we get that guy seated, we'll go ahead and double check this one and make sure it's still seated all the way down. So all we're gonna do is come in, oh, wrong side. And just look in there and make sure there's no gap. So you look in there, shoulder all the way down and still shoulder all the way down on that side. So we're good there. Check that one, that one the same. Looks good. So. We got all five bearings. Now we got all the bearings. We'll go ahead and get it back on the bench and we'll start putting this thing together. First, we'll let it cool down now. So give it a couple minutes, we'll be right back. All right, we got all that bearings installed. So let's go ahead and put some seals in. So we got it set up. I've got our little engine mount here. Um, it's gonna help us when we put the crank in. First things first, we're gonna do some seals. So I ordered a whole new set of seals here. Um, you got a couple main seals and you got some dust seals some of that stuff there. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna slap those in. I got a little bit of packing grease. I also got some assembly lube. Um, I'm gonna use a little bit of uh, packing grease for the seals. Um, we're gonna uh, pack the lips here and we're gonna go ahead and slap those in. So first things first, we're gonna go ahead and get the uh, left side done. We get the main one here. Um, and then we'll go ahead and get I forget what this one's called. I think this is, uh, this is the counter shaft here. And then we're going to go ahead and get the, I think this is the shift shaft seal as well. So let's go ahead and throw those three in first. All right, so it's probably the best view we're going to get. We're going to go ahead and start on the left side here. First one's first is going to be the crank. Um, one thing, if you check the manuals, they always going to say, look for the ones that say outside. Um, these ones I got here. They're not terrible. It says Outlaw Racing Products. It's the seven seal set for the PW80. Um, this one doesn't actually say outside on the inner part there. It does have lettering on the inner part on one side and lettering on the outer part on the other. So what we're going to do is put the lettering that's in this channel up. So we want the lettering that's down, down into the bearing. So we'll pack this up with a little bit of grease. Let's put a little bit, a little bit in here, and we'll put a little bit on our, on our seal. I think the manual also says pack the lip, whatever it's called, but I've done it this way before and we've had good results. So this is the way we're gonna do it so once we get that pretty packed I don't want to go too crazy make sure we get a little bit more there just in case 
Then all we're gonna do is we're gonna press it down in. And this one's gonna be a little hard, not too bad. Once you get stuck, what I like to do is take the old, um, what's that, the front sprocket, and I use that. That helps me get it flush with the case. You don't want these too far in because they'll be interfere with the bearing. So you want them flush with the case. So I take this and press down, it's going to keep me flush with the case. So once I get to where I want, I check. So this side still needs a little more pushing. So, oh boy, man, I'll lose you. I got you way up high here so you can see. Hope you don't get uh, seasick. But same thing, like I said, we're just gonna keep pressing until we're flush all the way around. So we got that side a little bit left to go there. So what we're gonna do is press it down. And once we're flush, we got a little bit farther to go, we'll press that down and we'll move on to the next one. Next one back here is going to be our counter shaft seal. That's gonna be your more flat um, fender washer looking guy. And he's gonna sit in there. Flat side is going to go down on this one. And I've seen before where they're yellow in the interior here. I don't have the old one. Oh, maybe I do. See that there? Uh, it's a little yellow in there. This one will be just fine. It's the same thing. So same thing again. Get a little bit of grease on there. We'll pack the rim here. That's going to be good there. And we'll pack the inner lip. And then same thing, we're just gonna press that one in. Let's get the towel there. And then this one's gonna be a little bit easier to press in, so we wanna be a little more careful. And we'll get that uh, sprocket right away to make sure we don't press that in too far. So we'll get that on. And we'll press it in. And we're flush a little bit there on the top. And then if you want, you can go ahead and give it a couple taps. Uh, nothing crazy if you hear a nice solid sound like that there at the end that means you're hitting metal on metal and you're flush so we're gonna be good there and then our last one's going to be that uh, shift shaft seal I think if I remember right there's two in this case that are the same and these are gonna be it one's going to be for the shift shaft Oh, I could be wrong. That's definitely not the right fit there. Let me pull that out. There's definitely one, one uh, pair in here that's the same. It's not these two, obviously. So, those are not it. That one is not it. And that one's definitely not it. So, we might be in trouble there. I thought they were the same. Maybe that's where I was messed up. So, they look super close, but one is just a hair bigger than the other. And I grabbed the smaller one first. So there we go there. So the shift shaft seal is going to be a little bit big, big, bit bigger. Um, this one I, I thought was the kick uh, kickstarts, but I guess not. So we'll go ahead and pack this one in. This one is going to be, like I said, the shift shaft seal. Say that 10 times fast. So we'll pack that one up a little bit. Get it nice and coated. Same thing, flat side's gonna go down on this one. And there's a shoulder on there. I don't know if you can see it, yeah you can. So this one we're gonna press all the way down to the shoulder and we don't have to worry about anything else because that's gonna stop us. And we want it to go all the way down to that shoulder. So we're gonna go ahead and press, press, press. And looks like we're a little high yet on this side. So what I'm going to do is take a fat punch, a wide one, and I'm actually gonna use the hammer side and I'm gonna press that down and make sure we get it how we need so we're good there we're all shouldered down and then I can go ahead and look inside and I can see if we're flush um, not flush but against that bottom side I guess it would be flush so we're good there that's the left side so let's switch over to the right side which is right here and then this one's going to be another main seal and I'll have to double check on what the second one is in here but for sure the main seal so let's get that one in 
Um, let's see. Yeah, just your main seal on this side. Um, there's four going to be on the inside before we get to other stuff on the outside. So, get our grease. Pack that. And same thing, we're going to pack this side. And again, this one doesn't say outside or anything like that, but they are just a hair different. I probably should have showed you before I put it in grease, but you should still be able to see the difference. And on this side, you're going to, you might not be able to see it, but there's writing inside that ridge. And then if you flip it over, there's going to be no writing. So when we can see the writing, we want the writing away from the bearing or what the manual calls outside. So we're going to go ahead and get that one. And this is going to be the same thing, flush again, because we don't want it down, uh, interfering with the bearing. So we're going to get it as far as we can with our fingers. Then we're going to go ahead and throw something flat on top and start pressing it into place evenly. So we'll do that. Check on it. Oh, looks like we're pretty good there. Got to get this side a little bit more. And we'll check and then we'll give it a little tap test. Uh, see if we're flush flat we should be able to hear that metal on metal sound. Right there. So we'll do that all the way around. Right there, so you hear that noise, that's metal on metal. That's just our sprocket hitting the case. So that way we know we're flush. So that's that noise there, metal on metal. So we want to do that and make sure we hear that all the way around. There. So we're flush, then we can feel with our finger. Oh yeah, we're good. Maybe a little bit more on this side. I can kind of see it there. So. And then you can hear it. So, yep, there it is. Now we're flush. So that's uh, bearings and seals. All right, so I'm probably gonna cut that for video-wise. Um, I think I'm gonna break this down in a three-part video. So first part will be what we just saw. It's gonna be your uh, bearings and seals. Um, next part, we'll do the whole inside and putting the case back together and sealing it up. And then the third part, we'll put everything um, onto the outside. And we'll give it a little quick fire up. So I know it's been a while since I put the video up. I appreciate you guys. We're up to 40 subscribers. Doesn't seem like much, but a lot more than what we started with, so I appreciate you guys uh, sticking around. Um, so go ahead and stay tuned for that next video, and we'll get it up as soon as I can. I'll see you guys next time.